This was a disgrace. This was a rigged trial by a conflicted judge who was corrupt. It's a rigged trial, a disgrace. They wouldn't give us a venue change. We were at 5% or 6% in this district, in this area. This was a rigged, disgraceful trial. But the real verdict is going to be November 5th by the people. And they know what happened here, and everybody knows what happened here. You have a Soros-backed DA, and the whole thing, we didn't do a thing wrong. I'm a very innocent man, and it's okay. I'm fighting for our country. I'm fighting for our Constitution. Our whole country is being rigged right now. This was done by the Biden administration in order to wound or hurt an opponent, a political opponent. And I think it's a, just a disgrace. And we'll keep fighting. We'll fight till the end and we'll win because our country's gone to hell. We don't have the same country anymore. We have a divided mess. We're a nation in decline, serious decline. Millions and millions of people pouring into our country right now from prisons and from mental institutions, terrorists, and they're taking over our country. We have a country that's in big trouble, but this was a rigged decision right from day one with a conflicted judge who should have never been allowed to try this case, never. And we will fight for our Constitution. This is long from over. Thank you very much. So what happens now that Donald Trump has been found guilty of all 34 charges in his New York hush money trial? There are a few possibilities, but first, Trump needs to be sentenced, and that sentence could range anywhere from probation to several years in prison. Each of the 34 Class E felonies that Trump has been convicted of carry a maximum sentence of four years, although New York law caps that sentencing at 20 years. Legal experts say Trump is unlikely to be sentenced to anywhere near that kind of prison time. Sentencing has been set for July 11th, just four days before the Republican National Convention will take place in Milwaukee, where Trump is expected to accept the Republican presidential nomination. As a former president, Donald Trump is entitled to secret service for the rest of his life wherever he is, even if where he is is prison. A jury convicted the former president on 34 felony counts of falsifying business records in order to commit or conceal another crime. This means Trump has been found guilty of unlawfully interfering with the 2016 election through a hush money payment to adult film star Stormy Daniels, who said she had an affair with Trump in 2006. The conviction of Donald Trump on 34 counts marks a historic and unprecedented moment making him the first former U.S. president to be found guilty of a crime. Trump denies all charges, claiming that Joe Biden has orchestrated a setup to avoid their face-to-face -face confrontation in the 2024 presidential election. As we navigate this complex and challenging time, it is crucial to turn to the guidance of the Bible. Scripture instructs us to pray for our leaders, regardless of their circumstances. 1 Timothy chapter 2 verses 1 to 2 states, I urge, then, first of all, that petitions, prayers, intercession, and thanksgiving be made for all people, for kings and all those in authority, that we may live peaceful and quiet lives in all godliness and holiness. Whether Donald Trump is guilty or whether his claims of a setup are true, both scenarios have the potential to harm the American people. As such, it is vital to pray for wisdom, justice, and truth to prevail. We must ask that our future leaders exhibit the high moral standards and integrity that the Bible requires of us. Proverbs chapter 29 verse reminds us, When the righteous thrive, the people rejoice. When the wicked rule, the people groan. Our hope and prayer should be for leaders who are righteous and just, guiding the nation with integrity and faithfulness. Let us continue to pray for discernment, justice, and unity in these times of uncertainty, trusting in God's sovereignty and seeking His will for our nation. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more content. God bless you.